Hello, welcome to Santuario Lunar in this very hot afternoon. I'm recording the weekly title reading for the third week of September. If you enjoy my work here, please give your thumbs up, subscribe my channel in case you're not subscribed yet. Visit my coffee page to support me, download some free stuff and also to order a, pri a private title reading for you. And if you can, give me a super thanks to, to support me here on YouTube. Let's start. But before we see the cards, I, I want to ask you how was your second week of September? Because if you've been following me this month, the first week we had that aspect of the shadow aspect and dealing with the shadow. And then I made a video explaining details about the shadow. And then for the second week we also had some strange news like... Uh, too many things to solve and the lack of support, the lack of energy, the lack of things in general. But now for this week, things are different. So please comment how was your first and second week and let's get prepared for the third week. Here in the past I have the Gaia card, the world reversed. And this card in the past indicates that we wanted to expand, to grow, to conclude things, to finish everything finish in a positive way like like a conclusion but it didn't happen because we were not ready because it was not the time because we didn't have energy whatever the reason everything we wanted we expected didn't happen this is in the past now in the present i have the four of staves which is a great card that indicates accomplishment victory Things we are working on or things we are starting now tend to grow bigger, tend to succeed. So, great news for the third week of September. Remember I commented about September in general being a month for renewal. In the Northern Hemisphere we have the autumnal equinox, in the Southern Hemisphere the vernal equinox. So, both equinoxes. Maybon and Ostara celebration, they are this energy of changes and renewal. While Maybon is something more introspective, Ostara is more uh, renewal in general. But anyway, renewal and refreshment. So it seems like this week is the week for this refreshment or things to, new things to come and appear in our lives. So whatever you are planning, whatever you are start doing, business, relationship, job, projects, personal development. This week tends to be a great week for this, so get ready. But now in the future, or by the, by the end of the week, we have the Two of Staves reversed. And the Two of Staves reversed is exactly the opposite of everything I've just said. It indicates disappointment, something that was going well, but it was not meant to be. So the end of projects, the end of things in general. It doesn't mean that the things are, that are starting with the four of staves are going to end by the, <laughs> with the two of staves reversed, like start on Wednesday and finish on Friday. No, it's not these. Think about that for us to have new things in our lives, to, for us to have uh, space, room for these new things, we have to let go of other things. So that's what's here. The two of stays reversed indicates, indicates this. Letting go of old projects, of things that were not right, that demanded too much, too much energy or too much of your time. So it's time to say goodbye. And there can be this feeling of disappointment, like what did I do wrong or things like that. But it's actually just uh, cleaning the area for the new things to grow and develop better. So don't be sad if something ends this week that you've been carrying for a long time. It's just natural. So this week is a great week, as it seems. And for the advice card, we have the Queen of Staves reversed. The Queen of Staves reversed is an interesting card. It tells us that we have to show up more. We have to make our voice be heard more. So it can be re directly related to the Four of Staves, like uh, for things to flourish, for our projects or business or personal things or anywhere, whatever it is that is flourishing now this week, 
we have to impose ourselves. We can't be uh, just watching things, understand? We have to act, we have to really be there and make a difference, not just expecting things to happen, because this is not going to happen. The message of the Queen of Saves Reverse is this. We have to come, we have to appear, we have to act, we have to do things in order to get what we want. So it seems this week is great for new things to start and some old things to die. Let's see, and I hope you really have this in your life. Tell me in the comments if you are seeing these things happening or wait for the next week and then you comment how this week was. If you enjoy my video, please, as I said in the beginning, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel in case you're not subscribed yet, and order a title reading for you if you need. The links are all in the pinned comments. Thank you so much. <laughs> It's too hot. And see you next week.